Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. It's hanksters.com. This is where you can find all of our most current inventory. As soon as a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off of our website. On YouTube, they stay up at all times between both our locations. We never take our YouTube videos down, so you guys can watch them at any time. When you're talking about American muscle cars, it cannot go without being said, uh, Chevrolet Camaro. 1967, this one is. You have a 400 motor underneath the hood. We'll check that out right now. Got the hood scoop, as you can see. Power steering, power brakes, no AC in this car. I'm going to call this color like a black cherry color. Obviously you have the uh, silver stripes, uh, five star Riddler wheels on the car. We do not have any documentation on this car in reference to the build. I do not know how many actual mileage are on the car. The uh, odometer, I'm sorry, the, the, the title reads exempt. Uh, we'll find out what the odometer reads later on in the test drive. You do have a chrome mirror here on the driver's side of the car. Uh, door fitment down the driver's side is pretty good. You do have a little bit of door gap there at the bottom. We'll show you that later on in the presentation. Checking out the interior, black vinyl, bucket seats, four speed car. Uh, the vinyl on the top of the dash is in great shape. There's a little crack on the uh, passenger side that we'll show you here in a little bit. Uh, carpet in the car is in very good condition. As you can see, there's no uh, dry rotting, no cracking, uh, no discoloration in the car. Steering wheel is in nice condition. We'll show you a closer up of that uh, later on in the presentation. As I mentioned earlier, you can see in the on the driver's side there, there is a little bit of door gap down at the bottom. Silver stripes continue up over the hood onto the deck lid. Those are in good shape. Uh, chrome on the rear bumper of the car is in great condition. Checking out the trunk. You can see that it's nice and solid. There is no spare and there is no jack. Therefore, uh, it will not come with the car. Uh, in our presentations, if there is a spare in the car and if there is a jack in the car, then the car comes with a spare and a jack. If there is not one present, then uh, it does not come with the vehicle. Looking down the passenger side of the car, the door fitment is good to the front and rear quarters. Take a look in the interior on the uh, passenger side. The door panel's in good shape, armrest, seat, do have front seat belts. Uh, no seat belts in the rear of the car. There will be some floor mats in the car that we have on order, so you will have those as well. But as you can see, there's no floor mats in it right now. Uh, there's the, uh, like a little crack uh, there on the passenger side at the top. Good looking car all the way around. Let's take it outside and throw it on the rack and show you what the undercarriage looks like. Okay, underneath our 1967 Chevy Camaro, you have disc brakes up front. And there's going to be disc brakes in the rear too, so disc brakes all the way around, which is pretty cool. Set of dual headers are going to go back to uh, dual pipes there and uh, dual mufflers, of course, and dump off there in the rear. We'll show you that here in a little bit. Frame rails on the car look to be in outstanding condition. Same thing with the floor pans. Really good looking car underneath. Uh, go back here and you'll see your traction bars there in the rear. Um, the gas tank appears to have a, a little dent here on the driver's side, but it's not leaking or uh, affecting its functionality there at all. I never really understood how people dent gas tanks, but it, I see it probably in two out of every ten cars we shoot, the gas tank's dented. Uh, you got your uh, dual mufflers there that come out uh, behind the uh, driver and passenger side rear tire there, a set of tailpipes uh, between the uh, drop downs on the rear quarters and the leaf springs. Uh, rear end doesn't appear to be leaking anything. Looks good underneath.
going to be fun to take this one out for a drive. I know this car performs well. Don't just take my word for it. We invite and encourage all of our buyers to come on down to Daytona Beach or up from Southern Florida to Daytona Beach, Central Florida here, and take a look at the car you're interested in or the car you're uh, thinking about buying. We'll put it on the rack for you just like I'm doing right now. We'll show you the paint and the sunshine. We will uh, test drive the car. You can look at the car, look the car over to your heart's content. With that being said, we do a lot of deals sight unseen. In fact, 90% of our deals are done sight unseen um, by the photos that we take in our showroom and outdoors here and these video presentations that we do for you. We don't make everybody happy, but we make a large majority of our buyers happy. Free shipping and a warranty. So yes, at full retail price, most of our vehicles in our showroom include shipping to you in the lower 48 United States as well as a 12 month, 12,000 mile powertrain warranty. If we negotiate the price of the car, we also negotiate the cost of the shipping as well as the uh, price of the warranty. You'd have to buy the warranty and you're going to pay the shipper when they deliver the car um, with a check or with cash. Um, the full price program is a turnkey program that we offer where well, we pay the driver, we pay for the warranty, and we take care of all, all of that stuff for you guys. So there is a make offer tab on all of our vehicles, um, but just know that when we uh, do negotiate the price of the car that those options do come off. Another turnkey uh, thing we have here at Hangsters, besides owning our own vehicles, providing the shipping for you and offering you a 12-12 warranty that's good anywhere in the uh, United States, uh, we also offer financing. We don't do it in-house. We also often get asked that question, do you offer financing? Well, yes, we do, but it's through three different collector car banks or lending institutions that we work with. They will go up to 10 years on a tier one approval. They will require you 10% down out of pocket minimum, and then the remaining balance over five, seven, 10 years, whatever you get approved for. It's gonna be based on your uh, credit score, debt to income ratio, price of the car, things of that nature. So let's set this car on the ground, take it out on a drive, and let's have some fun. Okay, we're inside our 1967 Chevrolet Camaro, and we have a horn. There's a horn button down here, neon lit, or I'm sorry, LED lit next to the uh, steering wheel. Uh, switch for the fan, switch for the backup lights. They are labeled. Um, the odometer is reading 89,662. We do not know if that's the actual mileage on the vehicle. Um, it is exempt on the title. Wipers are functioning. Turn signals, driver's side. Passenger side. Temp gauge, not up yet. We just started the car. Oil pressure. Battery voltage, those are both functioning. The Pioneer radio in the vehicle does not work. Um, it does turn on, but there's no sound coming out of the speakers. I do not know why, and we do not get into fixing radios, so you guys uh, can figure that one out on your own. Uh, what else? You can hear the uh, motor. Um, it is built, so you can hear there's a whine to the motor. This is a uh, this is a muscle car. It's set up to go fast. Maybe why that's that's why uh, the radio doesn't function is because once you get the car running, no need for a radio because it's got so much horsepower that you don't need it. But uh, nonetheless, we're going to take it out and show you that right now. car has plenty of power, which we're going to show you here shortly, but the car runs fantastic. Uh, you are going to have a little bit of a higher idle and a little bit of a higher sound at idle because of the way the motor's built. And um, you know, this car's built for speed. It's built for looks and built for speed. It's not built to uh, go down the road all quiet like your uh, Toyota or your Kia. So. Um, no vibrations in the drivetrain though. Car runs out uh, not only strong, but you know, nice and smooth. There are no vibrations in the shifter or the floor. 
front 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 tires. Car shifts nice and smooth like it should. And go up here and turn it around and run it through the gears a little bit. That's 80. The speedometer's coming down now. But uh, I think the speedometer's accurate. When we get down to a regular uh, cruising speed, we'll figure that out here. The car's got plenty of pickup. Good response in the steering wheel, as you can see. Once we get around the uh, turn here, we'll let go of the steering wheel, see how it does uh, just going straight. But. Uh, the car's got a great look to it uh, with the chrome wheels, uh, the black cherry paint job, the hood scoop, the racing stripes up the center of the hood. The car looks good, runs well. See what happens when we let go of the wheel here. Straight down the road, no pulling whatsoever. No hands on the wheel. Oh, brakes work. <laughs> Brake pedal's touchy. And then at idle, temperature is right where it should be. Make sure I don't have anybody behind me. You know, we're probably 150, 160. Um, Car's not wanting to stall out, spit or sputter at idle. Nice run in 67, come out. Our phone number here in Daytona Beach is 386-944-9219. Hanksters.com is our website. It's where you can go to find at least 80 still photos of this vehicle today, um, as along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. We would love to earn your business. We have a growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the world. So please check us out and uh, see if this 1967 Camaro is still available. Hanksters.com.